So we have more than 90 million people already uh, voting here in the U.S. What are the polls and that early voting telling us about what will happen this week? Yeah, it's been an unprecedented number of people voting early, um, including by mail, of course. And so um, the shape of the election, you know, is, is somewhat different this time because of that mail-in voting, that early voting. But we are still seeing Joe Biden leading President Donald Trump in a series of polls that were released over the weekend. And he's remaining ahead nationally and in battleground states. Uh, we saw New York Times, Siena College polls showed uh, Joe Biden ahead in Pennsylvania, Florida, Arizona, and Wisconsin, all key swing states, and all of which Donald Trump carried in 2016. And he will need to carry some of those uh, to be able to get to that Electoral College victory. But it is very close in a few of those states as well. So when you take a look at the, the polling situation that the president is in, it's eerily similar to what we saw four years ago, right? Does he still have this so-called path to victory? What would that look like? Yeah, he does need to win, uh, Heidi, some of those uh, key swing states. Uh, will not be enough for him to win in uh, the states where you know he is, he is favored to win. Uh, national polls, of course, do not indicate a winner since presidents are chosen by state, but they can suggest trends. And the trend that's suggested here is there is a path for um, the president, but uh, he would have to take uh, Florida, for instance, where uh, he is narrowly ahead in a Washington Post poll, ABC Washington Post poll. Um, uh, the same poll had uh, Joe Biden well ahead in Pennsylvania, or, uh, ahead in Pennsylvania, which is another state that President Trump could take to try to get to that uh, path. So he needs a few of those key swing states. He won them narrowly. A uh, state like Michigan, where he won narrowly uh, by really almost a few more than 10,000 votes uh, in the Electoral College last time, uh, he was there three times uh, over the weekend really trying to get those votes. But um, it's a narrow path to victory, and uh, things would have to swing in his favor, uh, much like they did last year, uh, I mean, four years ago. But it's a very narrow path for him at this point, according to the polling and what the uh, pollsters assume is the shape of that unprecedented early voting.